Welcome to our three-part series on Bottoms Up. This is part one where we're covering why you should train Bottoms Up as well as how to do the Bottoms Up clean and carry. In part two, we'll learn the Bottoms Up press and some cool press variations you should be doing. Part three is all about the Bottoms Up squat. Get ready to light your abs on fire with that one. So why train Bottoms Up? There are six main reasons why you should be doing Bottoms Up work. One, it builds shoulder stability and strength by working the stabilizer muscles, which are essential to shoulder health. Two, it forces you to grip the bell. This crush grip automatically turns on your abs and creates total body tension. Your grip is like an amplifier for strength. To learn more about this, check out our video on irradiation. I put the link in the description. Three, it's a self-correcting drill. If something's not aligned or you're losing tension somewhere, the bell's gonna fall over. Four, it forces you to own each position and move slowly with maximal control. You can't rush bottoms up. Five, you get many of the benefits of lifting heavy without overtraining and without frying your nervous system. Six, if you only have light bells handy, bottoms up is one of the best ways to get a challenging training session in with only light bells. Every bottoms up lift starts with the bottoms up clean. Here's how to do it. Set up the kettlebell in front of you with the handle perpendicular to your shoulders. Get in your clean stance. Grip the handle and put some weight into it. Lean on it. Take this webbing between your thumb and your index finger and push it into the handle. Tilt the bell back and clean it. Very important, keep your free hand up for safety. You don't wanna get hit in the face. Keep a tight grip and stay tight. Abs, glutes, quads, and lats. If you're doing carries, take it for a walk. and park it. To find the right grip and wrist angle, get in your push-up position on two belts. That's the exact grip and wrist angle you wanna use. This is the only time when we don't have a straight wrist in kettlebell training. You can also do double bell bottoms up cleans and carries. All the same principles apply. Use bottoms up as variety in your training. You can do cleans, carries, presses, squats, get ups, even snatches. Keep the reps low, around two to five reps per set. Short complexes and ladders work great. That's it for the bottoms up clean and carry. See you next week for part two, the bottoms up press and some cool variations you need to be doing. If bottoms up is your thing, give this video a like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.